Mridula Baskar and welcome back. So we are going to start off a series of videos where we are going to learn from the basics on how to do your base makeup, how to ace it, how to do your eyebrows, how to you know draw your lips, eye makeup based on your eye shape. So basically this is going to be a self grooming tutorial step by step in a series of videos it's gonna come out. So I've done my brows already because I prefer to do my brows before my base but today we'll be talking only about the base makeup specifically on how to apply the foundation and how to conceal and cover all the dark circles or spots that you have in your face. So the first thing that we're going to apply on our face is a moisturizer. There is a notion that moisturizer is very bad uh, under makeup. It is absolutely wrong. Your skin needs hydration whatsoever. So we are first going to apply moisturizer. I'm just going to take a teeny bit on my hand. And I prefer to use a brush for this but you can absolutely use your fingers. And I'm applying this all over my face. It's a very very nice moisturizer. The other options could be uh, Cetaphil uh, moisturizer. That's also very nice. That's what I use on my uh, clients. But uh, personally I uh, tend to like this moisturizer better. It does suit my skin really well. So next up we're going to use a primer. Why do we use a primer? Usually in the T-zone as we age we tend to get a lot of pores. So this primer goes and sits inside your pores. And based on your skin's needs, say for example, you're a very young person, you do not have that much of pores and pores is not a big trouble in your skin. Then you can go for an oil based uh, primer or you can go for a cream based primer if you think your skin is really absolutely dry, then cream based is really good. So today I'm going to do a combination. So I'm going to go in my T-zone with a silicone based primer which is going to fill in my pores and smoothen the skin out and in the outer corners I'm going to go for an oil based primer. So that's going to moisturize my skin and give it a very natural and dewy finish once I do my makeup. I'm a big fan of packed primers so for the silicone based primer I'm going in with the pore primer. It's one of my favorite primers. I'm not going to take too much just a drop of it. And I'm using the same brush and going only in my T-zone area that is on my forehead in the centers of my face like that. So I'm sure you'll know your face uh, where exactly to place the primer. So if you have a lot of pores in this area then I'm sure you can take it there. I am taking it there because my pore areas mainly lie here on my nose and on my forehead. Then I'm again going in for an oil based primer. This is also from Pack. And I'm taking a drop of that. It's a you know got a very runny consistency like you can see and I'm going to apply that in the outer side of my face. So yes, now my skin in this portion, you know, it feels very smoothened out and blurred out. I think you can see it on the camera. I hope it's catching it and this place looks a little shiny as compared to this portion. So this has, you know, gotten mattified properly and this place, you know, there is a natural shine. So as the next step, I'm going to introduce to you all a color corrector. A color corrector, this is an orange corrector. The orange corrector is usually used on dark brown pigmentation on the skin. It should not be used on fresh pimples because when it is red that will be counteracted by green but when it is brown then it will be counteracted by an orange. For people who are of an extreme light skin tone, peach correctors are used. I am of an Indian, normal Indian skin tone so definitely orange corrector will do for me. So this is the Ellie Girl orange corrector which I am going to use. I am just spotting it on all the brown spots that I have on my face. You know, let's anyway go around the mouth. You should not use too much of orange corrector. Your color of the base is absolutely going to change and oxidize. So that's not what we want. Now I'm going to use my finger and I am just going to, you know, blend that out. Especially when you're going in for a very, very nude lipstick, it's better to always color correct around your mouth so that you don't sort of get washed out. 
and the next step would be to use concealer so when it comes to concealers i go with two colors of concealers one would be a skin tone and another one would be to highlight the high points of my face so today i'll be using the huda beauty concealers and this is the overachiever concealers it's in the shade granola and toasted almond toasted almond is my skin tone granola is uh, you know one shade lighter than my skin tone so that's going to be my highlighting shade and toasted almond is going to be my concealer shade so now we're going to go in with the skin color concealer which is toasted almond so there you go i've picked up the teeniest amount of product i'm going in with the clean brush so what i am going to do first is you know pat on the concealer to the areas where i have mainly applied the orange corrector and not all over the face so first we want to cover up that orangeness that the orange corrector has created so we did apply under the eyes so i'm just going in tapping motions so like you can see it is sort of getting neutralized slowly and coming back to my skin color this is a very very important step especially when you're doing color correction so now you can see half of my face how it looks i did apply orange corrector here so i have put a concealer there to cover the orange corrector and then under my eyes and on my forehead so this is with just the orange corrector and this is the color corrected and concealed face with the same color concealer as my skin tone so yes my concealer is done the skin color concealer is put on my skin and it looks absolutely flawless just like my skin so the next step is going to be a foundation so i'm going to use a very medium coverage foundation to give a very natural finish to the skin so i'll be going in with the fit me foundation i'm in the shade 230 natural buff and this is my skin tone foundation and go exactly for your skin tone don't go for any shade lighter it's going to just turn gray and that's not what you want so i have foundation on my hand and i am going in first i'm tapping the foundation all over my face go in very very light handed motions blend in your foundation so there you go my foundation is done like you can see it's a very very neat base we don't want to look fairer we don't want to look you know um different from what we usually look so i've got a foundation which is of very much my skin tone so i'll be going in with the huda beauty overachiever concealer in the shade granola so here you go i've taken teeniest amount of that what are your high points it's the center point so first it's going to be your forehead here this is a high point basically when i sit against the light whichever place the light hits me first my face catches the light first in these areas that's going to be the highest points of my face so this is a high point in my face and this is slightly a high point in my face i also prefer to go in here slightly with a lighter color so i'm just going to blend that in now so after that we'll go in with a yellow powder why yellow powder for the face yellow powders are very important for indian skin tones because all indian skin tones have a yellow undertone so it really you know flatters the skin and makes it look very very beautiful so i'll go in with a yellow powder but you can also opt to go for other powders uh, which are your skin tone as well like fit me has your skin tone uh, powders different shades uh, huda beauty has i my shade is banana bread a highlighting shade uh, for my skin so i use all of that but today we'll go in with a yellow powder so first what i would do is i will take this yellow powder i will dip a powder brush in it and pat it and i am going to use this only in the higher points of my face and before you set with your powder smoothen out all the product in case there's any crease just take the brush swipe and then that's it the product is going to set and it's not going to move it's so today i'll be going in with the nykaa skin genius powders here i have two shades one is the uh, natural ivory other one is rose beige so basically why two shades again 
high points of the face I use a lighter color and the normal other parts of the face I tend to use a skin color so that my face looks very highlighted so when it comes to these two shades I'm first going in with the natural ivory which is the lighter of the two shades I am patting the powder in so I have patted the powder in on this side you can see it immediately lifts your skin that's the importance of a compact powder you can see as compared to this side this side looks very beautiful next I'm going in with rose beige and just dusting it in all the other portions of my face so now we've achieved a very very good nice base I'll do the rest of my face and I'll get back to you all so yes, I'm back after the full phase of makeup. I've opted in to go for a cranberry eye, a complete matte eye and a cranberry lip. I hope you all like this makeup look. So in case you all have any suggestions about what videos you want to see or uh, any doubts about what we did today, you can definitely let me know. I will be more than happy to help you guys out. These uh, videos that I was talking about in the beginning of this video is going to be a series which is going to help you groom yourself. Whatever I know about makeup and all these years of me doing makeup, I'm going to share all that knowledge with you about self-grooming. So I hope you all like the content that's going to come up. And I'll see you all in another video. Bye-bye.